John's in control. We hope. <laughs> Coming up in today's vlog. Old cars. We've got an auction tomorrow of classic cars and motorbikes. Old bikes. These are your original, well, like electric bikes, aren't they? And old Gaul. It was around its confluence with the River Ouse that the town of Gaul began to grow. Hello. Hi. I was waiting for you to say hello then. <laughs> if you're new here, I'm Tony. And Jan. And Jan, yes. Not Ian. You Ian. No. Somebody bless. called you Ian. No, bless. Bless. I think probably, that was a spelling thing. Yeah, they the probably just. I get it all the, the time. I, I, I have spell check. Uh, and it still comes up with wrong words. I've no idea what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's just me. Oh, well, that's just you and the gin and tonic talking. <laughs> no! <I know>. Uh... <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking and all of that sort of malarkey. Thank you. Today, we are continuing our journey. We're not going to go very far, actually. Um, How we, far is it? Well. I think it's only about an hour in terms of cruising distance. We've got one lock. Uh, where are we now? Um... Pollington. Pollington. Aren't you impressed with me? I'm impressed, yeah. <laughs> Pollington. All that money spent on maps and you've actually reading it. Good, yeah. well done, thank you. <laughs> we're at Pollington, so we've got Pollington lock to go through. Then we'll come up to the junction that we were at a few weeks ago, which is the New Junction Canal. Now. We are trying to find some moorings down there on the same fourth and Keedby, but we can't go down there because the new junction canal where the Don, it, the Don River is flooding and they've got a guillotine flood lock. Yeah, you saw which it when we down. came up. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah, look at you. Look, see you know all about it, don't you? Yeah. That's the Don Aqueduct um, and it's currently flooded. So there's no boats going up or down it. So we're basically stuck up here. As you know, we didn't get to um, York. We didn't get to York. We didn't get on the ooze. We didn't get on the ooze. No, thank you. Thank goodness for that. That's flooded as well. That's nasty, that one. Um, <laughs> and so you know we've had the cratch done. So we got as far as Castleford and then we've turned and we've come this way. We are heading to Ghoul Marina. We're not going to go out at <laughs> Ghoul, obviously, because no. nobody's going down the tidal trend either. No, you can go on your own if that happens. No. <laughs> I don't want to go on my own. <laughs> no, we're going to Ghoul Marina and we're going to spend some time there, have a wander around Ghoul mm. and see what we can find out. We understand there's a museum nearby, so we might take the camera around there and have a look-see. Yeah, well, we've never been by car or anything, no, have we? Don't, so. No, never been. I've been to Hull, but that was years and years and years ago. Well, we're going to Ghoul and we're going to see what's at Ghoul. We're booked into the marina, so let's get cruising. Here we are, first lock of the day. In actual fact, it's the only lock of the day, I think. And then it's a straight run all the way to Gaul. Jan's in control. Hey. <laughs> Jan's in control. We hope. <laughs> Let me know when you're through. Will do. Now everything is done in the control box behind us. Jan goes to the control box in front. You can see there's been a bit of flooding around here in the low-lying area. There are a couple of rivers that run adjacent to the canal here. The River Don, as we know, has burst its banks towards Bramworth 
on the Stainforth and Keedby. There's a little brook that runs along the side here as well. But other than that, the main navigation remains navigable. coming up to the junction with the new junction canal it's foggy as hell it started raining I'm going to turn this camera off nothing to see actually it's grey <laughs> it is terrible conditions at the moment but hey ho once we get there we're staying there River Went is over this side at the moment, which has obviously burst its banks. We then got a very sort of strange affair where we go left and then a 90 degree turn to the right and then we get the Dutch River to our starboard side all the way into Gaul. Uh, I'm guessing that's probably flooded as well. on and on and on and on. How long? That's a seriously long boat. There are some Canal and River Trust moorings here with facilities including toilet block, l sound and pump out. But of course there's also the facilities provided by Gaul Marina which include a fabulous cafe called the Coffee Dock and a bar. There's also a chandlery and full boating services if you need them. This is Spicer's Auctioneers. They've got an auction tomorrow of classic cars 
and motorbikes. Here's a classic car. You might have seen this at classic car shows in the past. Apparently that's where the previous owner used to take it to. It's got a few little patches on it and some rust and what have you, but white wall tires. I just love the grill on the front on this thing. The eagle eyed of you may have noticed a couple of other classic cars. This one down here is a barn find. Apparently, the old lady of the house passed away and this was stuffed in the barn. It's a Morris, I think. Let's have a look. Austin, 1800 Mark II. That's absolutely gorgeous inside, if you have a look. Hardly looks like it's had any use at all. Look at those seats. Look, no rips, no tears. There's a bit of wear and tear, but I mean, considering its age, Lovely old Bakelite steering wheel with a leather cover, I think. And then this is nice. I like these. this little touch here. The sort of wood trim. Very basic inside, obviously. <laughs> but it's in very good condition. Ish. There's a bit of spots of rust. But it obviously cleaned up quite well. <clears throat> I understand, although we can't see the engine here, um, the engine's a little bit rusty and it hasn't started, um, so it's sold without the engine running. But there you go, Austin. Look at that. And then obviously we've got a Jag here, the executive's choice, suffering a little bit from rust on the chrome but that's easily fixable you need somebody in chroma <laughs> nice interior leather seats wood trim <clears throat> comes complete with a flat tire And yes, this at the side is also for sale. A caravan. Don't know what you'd use it for, but you never know. Somebody might be interested in it. Here's the Merc. I would imagine, <laughs> just like anybody who's got anything white or cream coloured, keeping it clean can be a bit of a nightmare. But that looks pretty okay actually can't see any marks on it it would obviously show up rust quite easily and again I'm quite impressed there's no visible marks on the seats or anything chrome works will be nicely cleaned automatic gearbox yeah it's not it's in good nick 280 SE. Well, I did say there's bikes here as well. So it's classic cars and bikes. Uh, auctions tomorrow, by the way. This is just a viewing today. Jan's going to get her leg over her. How are you going to get your leg over, Jan? <laughs> well, some of them I can get my leg over. <coughs> oh. Scooters. Are Scooters. Yeah. Wait to see the cars down here. Oh. Wow. That is these, are your, these are your original, What's that? well, like electric bikes, aren't they? It's like electric bike, yeah. <laughs> How are they powered? It's a, an engine, isn't it? It's, a, it's an engine. Look at that. 
of sorts. It's obviously attached to the front wheel. It's not rear wheel drive, is it? Anybody know what it is? Oh, it's pretty much standard Honda. There's some quite valuable bikes here. A Lambretta, look at that. Grand Prix 200. Now, Jamie Oliver, eat your heart out. Oh, look at this classic. Anybody thinking of going to Brighton? Ah, oh, a bit of an Italian. Piaggio. There's thousands of them, thousands of them. There's a load more down there. Is this a Bentley? No. It's a Jack. MG. We can see inside. Oof. the expensive lot in there. Ooh. That's the auction room. Ah, right, okay. Boats for sale as well. This is humongous. I think we can go on and have a look. Find the ropes, Tony. I don't think we can go in. I think it's locked. But it's got a deck above the top. Crane doesn't come with it, obviously. Excuse the noise. There's also a boat the other side, so we can see it, which is also for sale. Is that the one? I can't get out of this. <laughs> Goul has been referred to as a port in green fields because of its location so far inland from the sea. Also often referred to as Sleepy Hollow because many believe nothing much happens here. Goul was a small village until the construction of the Dutch River in the early 1600s. So called because the man who built it was Dutchman Cornelius Vermuden. The formal name today is the River Don. It was around its confluence with the River Ouse that the town of Goul began to grow. The area you can see in front of us is called Old Ghoul, and the bridge is now known as the Dutch River Bridge, rebuilt in iron in the 1890s, and then again in the early 2000s in steel. New Ghoul, or Ghoul as it is now known, was to rise on the other side of the river with the construction of the port by the Air and Coal and Navigation Company in the 1820s. This was the start of the rapid development of the port. Many different cargoes were imported and exported, but one of the most important was coal. Mined from the once vast coal fields in Yorkshire, the coal was transported to Gould through the canal network on small lined barges called Tom Puddins. 
A coal hoist was then used to offload the coal by lifting the whole Tom Pudding and emptying it into the hold of a waiting ship. They were called Tom Puddings after their inventor, Tom Bartholomew. The Tom obviously coming from his first name, and Puddings because the containers looked like pudding tins. The hoists have all gone, but there is one still remaining in Gaul Harbour, which is a haven for local birds. Today the main cargoes passing through the port are wood and imported cars. Well, we hope you enjoyed our little trip around Ghoul. Thanks to our supporters on Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee. And thanks to all you subscribers, likers and commenters. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And then when you have subscribed, press the bell icon. Ding! Thank you, Jam. And YouTube will let you know next time we upload a vlog. In the meantime, take care. Happy cruising. Bye! Bye.